I'll be speaking on for you and for me. For you and for me. Um, in the book of Genesis, the Lord said, let there be light. And there was light. Now, it was later that God now made light. So, he now divided the light he made later into two. One was lesser, one was greater. So, the, the, the lesser one to rule in the night, the greater one to rule in the day. Now, the first light that God commanded was not for nature. It was for his work. So, the first time God said, let there be light, that was not... That light, he cre- that light he created by his utterance was not for the nature. It's for his work. It was later that he now created light. Since he can't walk in darkness, he had to command light into existence so that he can successfully execute his project. The first light he commanded can also be seen as Jesus, revelationally. It was the second one that he gave to nature. And that one was divided into two. The first one was commanded and the other one was made. The commanded light was for God's personal use while the other one was for the nature. The lesson to learn here is that God can give something not because he wants you to use it for yourself but because he wants you to you know because he wants you to give it to someone but because he wants you to give it to someone and he has chosen you as that vessel through which that thing will reach the person he wants to bless when god gives you something ask for who holds it but the fact that somebody comes to you with a gift does not mean you are the owner of that gift. You may need to ask God, Lord, thank you for this gift. Is it for me? Because God may want to reach another person through you. But he knows that if he tells that person to go and give that other person, he will not obey. So he will now ask the person to give you. But when the gift gets to your hand, he, he believes that he can now direct you to that person. So this is why you should not be self-centered. I have several and countless cases of this. When God will say, this thing you have gotten is not your own. It's for this person. Another thing I want you to see from there is the first light that was commanded was not for nature. It was the second one that was created that was for nature. What does it mean? God can give you things that is personally for you. And He can give you things that is for general consumption. You must be wise to discern. This revelation that I'm, that I'm getting, is it for me? Is it a personal one? Or is it a general one? There are two types of revelation. There's a personal revelation and there's a general revelation. There are certain things that we have on between you and God that you don't have to share with others. Because if you share it with others, it will not bless them. For instance, maybe you 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 got to that point where you became so intimate with God that you know that you slept and God woke you. A hand came and touched you and you woke and God began to speak to you. Or maybe you were eating and um, you discovered a part of the food is no longer... Maybe you, you had three meat on your food and now you suddenly saw two. And you ask God and God said, well, it's because I'm eating with you. Now, if you go to your congregation and you share that with them, that may not bless them. Why? Because that's your personal encounter. That's your personal experience with the Lord. So there are things that should be shared and there are things that should be kept personal. The Lord will give us grace in the name of Jesus. Don't forget, the first light was commanded. The second light was made. And the one that was made was for nature. The commanded light, which was the first one, was for God's work. Learn to differentiate what you have. 
there are things that cannot be used everywhere and for everything yes god did not say okay because i said let there be light uh, this same light now will now be the light for the nature no he had to create another one the lord will help us in the name of jesus